सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट लोडिंग ऑपरेशन ऑन अ टैंकर शिप सो बिफोर शोइंग यू द प्रैक्टिकल ऑपरेशन इन सी सी आर आई वुड लाइक टू टेल फ्यू थिंग्स विच वी मस्ट नो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द ऑपरेशन सो वाइल्ड डूइंग ए लोडिंग ऑपरेशन देर आर टू थिंग्स विच वी मॉनिटर फर्स्ट इज अलेज एंड सेकेंड इज प्रेशर द अलेज इन द टैंक एंड द प्रेशर इन द टैंक ऑन एनी टैंकर शिप wherever you will go you will always find a panel dedicated to the cargo tank each cargo tank will have its own panel there will be a panel which will indicate allage temperature and pressure so you will always have a panel which will show all these thing temperature is also an important aspect but unless you are loading heating cargo unless you are loading such cargoes then it is not of a concern if you are loading heating cargo yes you will keep an eye on the temperature of the cargo but other than that there is uh, nothing to be done with respect to temperature you just monitor temperature that's it you keep a tap on it so always on a tanker ships you will not find soundings you will find alleges everything all your calculations everything is done as per alleges not as per sounding so that is why allege is very important once the tank is loaded now if this is just a second example so if this is your cargo tank if you start loading in your cargo tank if this much liquid is filled in inside this tank this much space remaining will be your allege so that's what we have to monitor the next thing which we monitor is pressure so once you load cargo in a tank the air which is there inside the tank will be displaced and the air would want to come out so on each cargo tank we have a pv system pressure and vacuum system this is a single system where in case of pressure the air will go out in case of vacuum the air will come in that's it so once the cargo start coming inside the cargo tank the air which is there inside the tank it will start coming out through this pv system so that's why we will also monitor pressure so allage and pressure these are two important factors so we'll keep an eye on them so let's start the operation now. so this is my cargo control room and this is for loading operation so at present you can see over here that's the allage 12.671 for one starboard cargo tank now we are only going to load one tank so that's my allage that's my temperature and that's my pressure 0.2 so allage pressure temperature and pressure it is for all the tanks always okay so this is my allage so what it means is if this is my tank that means my tank allage is 12.64 12.67 that means my tank is empty as we continuously load in this the allage will keep on decreasing this allege will keep 12 11 10 9 just like that so just in this case if you can see one port the allege is 1.997 that means the cargo is loaded in the tank the allege is only this much so this is just a rough idea same as you can see if you will see over here the tank is fully empty so the allege is 12.6 so how much do we have to load so normally you will have a cargo operational pan which is there which you also must have given you so this is my cargo plan so this gives me an approximate quantity how much we are going to load 500 metric ton it it has given me allage one more thing which is required is density of cargo so normally you can find it in the cargo plan itself for each cargo it has different density or you can ask chief officer what is the density of cargo so for example over here this is the density For different parcel, like if we are going to load this from different cargo in different tanks, those have different densities. So that's it. So as we have seen, my topping of allage is a uh, 2.25. So that means at 2.25 we have to stop loading. So normally what we do is we will write one meter more than that. So normally I would write 3.25 because at this allage I will call chief officer. because 2.25 allage is a finishing allage so normally 1 meter we add into that and we call chief officer on that allage so i'll write this allage so that it is just for my reference because when it is one cargo it's very simple 
to monitor the LH. But when there are multiple tanks running, you might not know at what LH you have to call GFS or how much is the topping of LH. So best practice is to write the LH besides the panel so that you don't make a mistake. But as this parcel is only single parcel, it's very easy. You can remember also. But still, I would uh, prefer to write on the side so that I know uh, at this LH I will uh, inform GFS. So the next thing is whenever you are loading make sure your high level and overfill level alarms are on they are not switched off because normally at sea we switch them off it is uh, like this on this panel on your different uh, ship you might have a different panel or a different button push buttons so as of now if you'll see this high level and overfill alarm is shut means if the tank is overfilled for any tank these are for all the tanks okay so if we are loading into any tank if the tanks reaches to high level or overfill there will not be any alarm so normally we do this when we are at C so what whenever we are loading make sure that these high level and overfill level alarms are activated they are not cut off or they are not isolated remember this is common for all the tanks next you can see that uh, our framo pump this I have already told you that jockey pump is, is running power pack is running power pen power pack normally will run at less pressure because we are not discharging so we are not going to use any cargo tanks so all you can see is my these are my cargo pumps all of the cargo pumps are stopped we are not going to use them and this is the tank which we are about to start normally chief officer will give you a manifold diagram also so this is the diagram that So this diagram is very simple because like we are starboard side alongside. So from starboard side a cargo hose will come and we are going to load in one starboard. So from starboard side one hose is connected and it will be directly loaded into this tank one starboard. So now we have written the quantity, we have written the density. Density as I have told you can take from the loading plan also but that is approximately or you will get the densities. Uh, from the surveyor so this is like density table from the surveyor so we are going to load approximately at 15 degree so this is the density for this cargo this particular cargo the density at 50 degree is 0 0.89 degree so approximately this is the density and once i start the cargo every hour i will write down over here timing and i will calculate how much is the cargo so that's my loadigator that's my cargo tanks so here I will in this one starboard once I click over here. Now once I click over here, one starboard cargo tank is ready. I will continue to write down the LH and I will continue to get volumes. So as I told now it's three o'clock. So I'll monitor I'll take the LH. So at three o'clock one starboard LH is eight point three seven three. That's it. I'll come down. Over here, write my time 8 starboard LH 0.373. Pressure was 0 0.2 kPa, and I will write down this LH also in my loadicator. So that's my loadicator. Here I'll come, and this is one starboard cargo tank, so I've clicked that. That means this is the volume 221.6. So I'll not write 221.6, I'll just write 22 triple two basically. So my volume is triple two multiplied by my density, density is 0 0.89. So this is my metric term 197.58, that means 198. So total volume triple two. Total weight, total weight is 198. Hourly, how much is the rate? As previously, it was 2 o'clock we started cargo, now 3 o'clock this is this. So the rate is same as total weight now. Cargo loaded, 198. 2 go, 2 go means remaining. How much cargo is remaining? We are maximum loading for 500 metric ton. 500. 
and we have already loaded 198 metric ton. So 302 is remaining to be loaded. ETC, what is the ETC? So ETC estimated time of completion. This we get when we divide that by cargo rate. So 302 is the cargo to be loaded metric ton. And if we'll continue receiving at same rate, we'll finish in 1.5 hours. So it's three o'clock already. So around 4.30, we should finish the cargo. So ETC, I'll write. Today only at 4.30. Manifold pressure at loading is zero normally. Just remember this cargo loaded is always in metric ton. To go is always also in metric ton. Hourly rate is also calculated in metric ton. Now SF and BM and drafts. So this will get from loadicator. I'll just click over here. So this is my SF and this is my BM. 27.1 percentage at frame number 36. I'll just write out. 27.1 percentage at 36 BM is 48.6 percentage at 71 frame number. Drafts forward and aft. This also you can get from Ludicator. After filling, make sure that your cargo is uh, rightly there and also your ballast is updated in the tanks. Then you can note down the drafts. Forward draft is 2.9, aft draft is. So this is how every hourly, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, every hourly, this is how we'll continue to monitor cargo tank loading. And that's how a cargo calculation is also done during loading. So at loading board, what uh, checklist which we have to fill is first is ship show safety checklist, which will be already filled by chief officer. As you can see, it is already uh, filled by chief officer with the loading master. So it's already filled. Everything is filled. We have to read this and uh, as you can see, it is signed. And now there are certain things which we must check at every two hours or normally four hours, depending upon your company regulation, not more than four hours normally. So, but as per my company, not more than two hours. So every two hours, we have to do some checks, which we have entered into this. So these are the checks, interval time, I will write over here, two hours, what time I'm checking that. So I'm now like, like I'm checking at 0300, inert gas system and oxygen. So on my ship, I'm not using nitrogen system. So this is not applicable. Cargo tank atmosphere is positive pressure. Yes, mooring arrangement is effective. Yes, access to ship show. So basically you have to uh, check for all these things. You have to ask your duty ABs and uh, or OS to check for all these coppers and save all our plug, external openings, are control, pump room, ventilation, tankers, fendering, communications are effective, supervision of and watch keeping adequate. So all of these things you will do and uh, whatever is not applicable, you will write like inert gas. So on a chemical tanker, we are not using IG. So I'll write this, same this, rest all is, I've already checked. So I will click yes, 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 yes. Our cargo tank high level alarms are operational, yes. And initial, you will sign over here. So at every two hours, so at, now I've done these checks at three o'clock, next I will do at five o'clock. Then next checklist, which is to be filled is cargo transfer checklist. This is filled by, same again by chief officer. It's, it's, as you can see over here, it's already filled by chief officer. We just have to do these rechecks, which are there inside. This is normally done at every hour. So like uh, now at 0300, then uh, next I will do at 0400, 050, 060, just like that. Hourly calculation sheet has been updated. Yes. No leaks on decks or oversight funnel exhaust. I've checked that as pump room inspection done. Fixed inert gas system, scrubber discharge, check for sheen. It's not applicable because I'm not having that on our ship. Outboard manifold checked. Yes, P wall. Weather forecast, mooring the attended regularly or not. Yes. Initial of person in charge. And once you have checked all these things, you will do sign. So every hour we'll do that. Next, there is a port operation log or port log as we call it. 
so in this you will write all the important timings when you started ballast when you completed de ballasting when you started loading when you completed loading so these are general things which have we have already written pilot on board anchor away first line all fast loading master on board key meeting tank inspection we have written these timings now with respect to cargo we have started writing this cargo hose connected at one starboard manifold cargo hose pressure tested commence loading of one starboard cot okay so that's all uh, that's how we'll write completed loading pegging of uh, one starboard line so as the important timings comes in we we'll write that and also in port log every hour or so it is required to write these entries that uh, fire safety round taken tank your loading is in loading or discharging whichever is so loading is progress in one starboard cot so at least uh, these entries every hourly you can write it because this is required normally in betting or uh, in psa inspection they can check that so this is a second example for a different loading when we are loading multiple tanks before i have shown you loading for one starboard that was a single loading now we are loading multiple tanks three port three starboard five starboard six starboard eight port cargo tank and nine starboard cargo tank now you can imagine it would be very difficult to monitor uh, or to keep, or to remember the alleges for all the tanks or what are the topping of alleges for the uh, all tanks so hence that is why for that particular reason i would normally write the topping of alleges plus 1 meter to that the alleges when i need to call chief officer for all the tanks which ever i am loading so now when we are doing multiple loadings so same thing what we have to monitor alleges and pressure in before one starboard cargo tank we were not having pressure during that time now i can show you over here for example now i am loading in all the tanks but just for an example if i will to show you that nine starboard you can see the alleges i am monitoring and the pressure now you can see the pressure is 19.7 it will continue to rise if the pv wall does not lift up if the pv wall lift up it will not rise but if not If you can see 19.8, 20, it will continue to lift up, and we have an alarm setting at 22 kPa. There will be an alarm if it does not lift up. Now you can see the pressure is rising, and it is not the my PV walls. What I mean by PV walls are these walls, the one which you see there, those PV walls. If they does not lift up, but for other tanks you can see which I'm I'm loading. 17 kPa. Those are uh, maintaining the pressure. Means once the pressure reaches, the wall is lifting. The pressure is uh, reduced, and again the tank is loading. The pressure is coming up. So all other PV walls, my tank PV walls are okay. They are maintaining the pressures. They are not uh, going too much up. But for this particular tank, I'm. Uh, you can see the PV wall has not lifted up, or the pressure side. If I would. Uh, correctly said the pressure side is not lifting up so hence the pressure in the tank is continually rising so you can see 20.8 if it does not lift up till 22 there will be an arm normally at 20 it should lift up now it has already passed 20 it is not lifting up and uh, it has continued to rise the pressure is continuously rising at 22 there will be an arm so these alarms are set normally 10% higher of your uh, working working pressure so normally if it does not lift up 20 22 there will be an arm so now just to show you i'm uh, i'm not asking my tech crew to lift it up just to show you that if if the pressure reaches to 22 what will happen so let us monitor but other tanks again i'll show you that uh, they are maintaining the pressure if because at 220 kpa the pv wall is automatically lifting and they are maintaining the pressure But not for this tank, as it is continuously rising at 22. You will see there will be an alarm. So these are the alarm pressure, high pressure, LP, low pressure, 21.7. At 28 and at 22 there will be an alarm. And 
once the alarm is there then i would after alarm i would show you i will ask my crew to listen you can see there is an alarm high pressure come over here buzzer stop now there is an alarm and now i will ask my crew to lift the pressure side of this p1 deck come in yeah please lift uh, nine starboard pressure side nine starboard pressure side please lift up okay so now i have asked my crew to to manually go and lift the pressure side for this pv they will manually go and they will lift it up yeah. once they lift once they will lift it up you would see that the pressure would uh, fall so now again uh, just to show you a second example just for that i've already showed you one starboard so just to show you an example now it's almost about 3 o'clock at every hour i'm taking rate in my hourly rate log sheet so it's about 3 o'clock one hour has passed so i will note down these alleges in my hourly rate log and then i'll feed into my load indicator so this is my load indicator i'll feed into it so let's see what all my alleges are I could just sit down over here, and uh, here I could write down from there. Three port is six point four seven. So now this was the alleged. Now also I need to write down each tank pressure. Below this there are two alleged and pressure. Alleged and pressure. So three port alleged is six point four seven. Pressure is eighteen. Three stout pressure is eighteen point six. Five star wood is sixteen point one. Six star wood is zero. Eight four pressure is seventeen point three. And here it is seven point five. Let me just show you. I was taking the readings from here. You can see three port six point four seven. I have written six point four seven. Here three star wood. It was six point four eight. I have written six point four eight. And now five star wood. You can see the alleges. 3.17. Here I have written 3. Point. So because it is continued, we are loading into those tanks. So alleges are changed. So from there I have written this is the pressure, and uh, this is the alleg, and this is the pressure. So both I have written over here for all the tanks. Now I will come over here. This is my load indicator. You might have a different load indicator. So in each tank I will write down those alleges, whichever I have noted down over here. So these alleges, which I have noted down, I will feed into my load indicator. So three port, six point four seven. We are not loading into these tanks, so these are already done. Three port, three starboard are we are not loading as of now. Five starboard, five starboard, three point two. Come over here, right allege, three point two. Now this is my cubics. I just need to write down the cubics. Five starboard cubics is five zero six. So these are all my volume. I will add them and write over two nine six four two nine six four cubics meter cube. Now I need to convert into metric ton. As I've told that you can take the density from the chi officer. Chi officer will tell you what is the density of cargo. So volume multiplied by density zero point eight five eight three two five double four. This is my metric ton. Two five double four. Now they are asking rate. Remember the rate is always in metric ton, so they are asking me the rate. So what we what was my last hour cargo? My last hour cargo was two one four four at two o'clock. This was at two o'clock. My last hour cargo was two one four four metric ton. So last hour cargo minus present hour cargo, I will get the rate two one four four metric ton minus. Present rate two two five four four. So four hundred. My rate is four hundred metric ton. Remember, cargo loaded as we are loading. Cargo loaded is same two five four four. This is my total cargo in the tanks. Two five four four metric ton is my cargo. This is sure figure. We don't write two go. Two go means remaining. 
so take the quantity from chio said that how much quantity we are going to do. remember this also is metric ton so everything is in metric ton except for this first calculation so two go means remaining so 2544 we have loaded 5700 is the total quantity so we'll minus that 5700 that is the total quantity to be loaded minus present quantity 2544 this is present quantity so i have remaining 3156 ton to be loaded 3156 etc estimated time of completion so this is the quantity to be loaded divided by rate it is always divided by rate divided by 400 7.89 means almost 8 hours. So now my time is 3 o'clock. 8 hours after 8 hours we'll be completing means so approximately at 1100 hours we'll be finishing. That is my estimated time of completion. Manifold pressure is zero because at loading there is no there should not be any manifold pressure generally. SF and DM stresses. So this also we have to take from loading gator. Calculate strength. This is my SF this is my bend, bending moment and these draft also i would be required to fill in the drafts also so both all of these i'll take from 27.4 71.5 at frame number 68 bending moment 71.4 percentage at 88 frame number drafts forward and aft forward draft is 6.39 aft draft is 7.89 6.39 hourly calculation at every hour i will do now next at 4 o'clock now it's 3 o'clock so next at 4 o'clock again i will take the rate so this is what we have to do, monitor in our loading and also now make sure once you have entered your figure make sure you have uh, enter the right amount of ballast if you have done ballasting or deballasting you also enter the ballasting and deballasting figure every hourly now i have done that everything is set now always you have to save the condition means every hour whichever you are loading into uh, loadigator every hour you have to save the condition so different loadigators are different saving how you save them for this i will uh, just show you how do i save this close file save but it is believe me it's uh, you don't have to remember this this is nothing this is just for reference because every loadigator is different how do you save there but the, so i will i'm just written down the uh, date and the timing so every hour you can see i'm saving 1 o'clock 2 o'clock now at 3 o'clock i'm saving so before also we were uh, continuously saving that save so every hour save the condition now i'll come back to my present condition okay so every hour continue to save your condition this is also important uh, learn in your loadigator how do you save your present condition